I've just brewed my coffee and I'm about to work on my devotional. Um, I heard once that your brain is like a dry sponge when you first wake up, so it's really important what you first, what, what content you first latch your brain on in the morning or to start your day. Um, so I've got my coffee ready to go and I'm gonna read this and then I'll show you guys um, after that. I think I'm gonna stay warm in bed because as you saw, it snowed this morning. Um, I'll check my Animal Crossing on my Switch and um, put on a YouTube video that I find relaxing to get started for this day and then um, I'll go do my skincare routine. You can see that it's raining on my island. You can, yeah. And look at that, look at the mist on the water. So fancy. Um, so I'm dressed like this. I look like, I thought I looked like a, I thought I looked like an ogre, but my friend just said I looked like Gollum. So, you know. But here's my house. I've got it all ready for Halloween. I'm gonna go buy some candy and check on my villagers. KK Slider is here today on this rainy day. I look like a mess this morning. Um, I'm just finishing watching YouTube. Then I'm gonna go wash my face and get dressed and look like less of a disaster. Put away my dishes that are drying from last night and um, start some reading or we might get into my Harry Potter puzzle or I might just start baking my pumpkin cookies first. I'm not sure, but we're gonna do all those things today. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna do all those things today. I also just checked the weather and it's like, minus 11 and I'm super sad about it because uh you know it shouldn't be minus 11 until at least November so yeah it's very gloomy and snowy out there today as you saw um I still might go for a walk later bundle up and go for a walk there's nothing better than a winter walk if you are bundled up might be a little crooked but that's okay I am now just rolling I've just done my skin my morning skincare routine and I just have this Jade facial roller um, that I just go over it feels really nice and cool and refreshing and it's supposed to help with like puffiness and inflammation so yeah I find it really comforting and I do find that it makes a difference if I use it twice a day um, just with like puffiness under my eyes or if I've got pimples and stuff like that. kitchen table um I really should have lit that candle for ambience in this clip but that's okay um so I'm at my kitchen table I am about to start making this recipe here it is pumpkin white chocolate chip snickerdoodles um so I know there's some chilling involved here so I wanted to get started on it now and hopefully have lots to send home with my mom when she comes into town so let's get baking
so I'm about to start baking and um, at a first glance I am the worst baking supplies shopper ever I forgot to look for ground cloves allspice um, but I bought like sage and baking powder and ingredients that I already had. It's snowy so I'm not gonna go outside so I guess I am going to substitute as best I can. I'm missing allspice and ground cloves. So we will see what we can do here. We had a bit of a butter disaster. I put it in the microwave for too long to soften it and um, and uh, yeah. It's... So I guess I'm gonna be washing that now. This pumpkin puree with the sugar and the butter smells so good. I'm gonna go. So now I've gotta mix the, the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and refrigerate for 30 minutes before we get to baking. So we're still waiting for the um, pumpkin snickerdoodles to chill. I just poured a hot cup of tea in this really ugly mug, but that's okay. 
I love Yorkshire tea. I like to put lots of milk in it and um, some brown sugar as well. The sun has come out and my living room is a mess. Here is me for the day. I think we're about to start getting into the reading portion. Show you guys what I want to read today. And then I'm going to edit a video. I also want to look at Christmas trees online to order because I do not have a Christmas tree. And um, also my, ooh, my Harry Potter puzzle. Let's take a look at that. So I also wanted to get to this today. It's just a 300 piece um, of like the classic American art design of the Sorcerer's Stone. So I might get to that later today too. And that might be fun. Okay, so I'm on walmart.ca, uh, so I chose to check Walmart for Christmas trees um, because I can do curbside pickup super easily and also I know I can get some points or I can redeem some of my points here. Um, so I found this little tree here, it's about six and a half feet, not lit, but I think it will be skinny enough for my little space. This is what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and I'm going to just order it for curbside pickup, I believe, so I'll just go pick it up at, at my local Walmart. And I think I'll just set it up, like, just beside that white table there where I've got a basket of blankets. I think I'll just shift this whole setup over and put the tree there. <laughs> They look, they look good and chilled, um, a little lopsided, but it smells so good. I wish you could just smell it. Uh, so now I've got to preheat, the, well I should have preheated the oven already actually a long time ago, but we'll, we'll do that. And then we're going to roll them into balls and um, roll them in some cinnamon and sugar. And then we'll be all done. So I'm going to roll each ball of the ingredients here into this sugar and cinnamon and then place on our cookie sheet on the parchment paper. It's funny because they um, look, when, once I roll them up in here, they look like Timbits. So if you're a Canadian and you hit up Tim Hortons and get Timbits, that's what I keep thinking of when I see these. I feel like I'm just making them. Let me know down below what your favorite Timbit is. I love the birthday cake and chocolate glazed are the two I always go for. They are, I'm gonna 
pop them in the oven. They look so good.